Super. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so grateful that you guys are hanging out still. I know that it's been a long, educative day. How's everybody doing? I would love to know where are you guys from? I'd like to know what your trading so can you guys put it into the chat box right here yeah right here i don't know if you guys know where the chat box is i'm pretty sure it's um i don't know actually for me it's on the bottom there you go yanista bailey is from west illinois anybody else here or is it just going to be me and Nista today and david <laughs> North Carolina, cool. Your name is 363482. Wow, that's a cool name. My mom did not give me that name. Henry is from New Jersey and you're a beginner trader. Awesome. Which part of New Jersey are you from? Because I actually, that's where my parents live right now. Oh, Chala. Okay, super. Awesome. Hi, Chala. All right, hang on a moment here. Let me just, there we go. Somerset County. Okay, my parents are living in North Bergen. I think that's like most Northern part because they literally look out onto Manhattan. They're right across the river from Manhattan. And another person's name, 48980 from New Hampshire. <laughs> and Stefan is from Germany. Very cool. And William from Hong Kong. What time is it in Hong Kong right now, William? I actually have have a good friend that worked in Hong Kong for many, many, many years. Tim from Iowa. Well, welcome everybody. I am incredibly happy that you guys are all here. Oh, so it's seven in the morning for you. You are an early riser. <laughs> and Andy, you're also a student of mine from California. Very cool. Well, welcome guys. I'm really, really happy that you guys are all here today joining in. I love to see that you guys are all here. So even though I am gonna be teaching you guys and I know for a fact you will get something out of today, I'm also here to be able to answer your questions because it's not just about what I have to say, right? You guys are here because you wanna learn something and I always find the best way to learn is through interactive conversation, is through questions, it's, that's how we all learn, right? I always say day trading is not a spectator sport. That means you gotta get in there, you gotta question everything, you gotta try and practice and everything. Okay, so that's what I am here to do is to answer your questions and for you guys to learn something as well. So let's begin. This is me. I am Marina, the Trader Chick. And today I want to really dive into something that I find a lot of people don't really talk about. And that's kind of the foundation of day trading and the financial markets in general, right? A lot of times I feel like we're thrown into this world and we don't actually learn the beginning of it. And a lot of times the beginning is where it really makes all the difference. For instance, if you wanna learn a new language, for instance, I live in Guatemala, I'm gonna go a little bit more into my intro. And I can't just, if I don't know how to speak Spanish, I can't just enter into a room full of Guatemalans speaking Spanish and expect myself to flow with their conversation and be part of the conversation. It's absolutely impossible, right? But what happens with trading especially is that there's no barrier to entry. Just because we have a little bit of money does not mean we can enter a room of a full-on ongoing conversation and think that we could keep up, right? So I want to take you to a place where you will learn how to be able to keep up with those conversations. Okay, so intro. Like I said, I am an expat. I live in Antigua, Guatemala. I've been living in Central America, actually, for almost 20 years, in Guatemala, almost 14 years. So I've been here quite a long time. If you guys actually want to have 
you know, ask me questions about that. I get a lot of people emailing me after saying that they would love to learn more about how to be an expat. I'm certainly able to help with Guatemala. And I was an expat before in Costa Rica for over six years. So I'm happy to help almost seven years, actually. So before I became a day trader, I was a fitness instructor. And why do I bring that up? Because a lot of times people think that you need to have a financial background, a math background and none of that is true right that's the cool thing about day training is that anyone can do it and that's exactly why I bring this up and I'm also a travel writer I even have a travel website that I've been running way longer than I've been a day trader and the main reason why day trading is is so perfect for the lifestyle that me and my family have is because we travel three to four months out of the year and day trading allows you to do that. And that's the cool thing about it. So why did I bring up the example of learning a new, about learning a new language and the beginnings of a new language is because I'm actually trilingual. And the main reason why I bring this up is not to be like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. But it's because of the process that I used when I learned Spanish. I was actually born in the Soviet Union. So Russian is my mother tongue. It's the first language that I learned. But we moved to the United States when I was really young. I was six years old. So even though English is my main language, it I learned it really fast because when you're young, you don't really learn a new language as much as you just continue learning a language. And it's that simple, right? I was fluent within like two or three months, basically. However, Spanish, I ended up learning in my later years. I was in my late 20s <clears throat> when I learned Spanish. And it's an entirely different process altogether. Because when you learn a new language, you have to commit to it. You have to practice it. You have to be disciplined to it. You have to have the patience. You also have to have somebody that really works with you and is patient with you, right? It's this huge process. And eventually one day it just clicks. And one thing that I realized was learning how to day trade because I struggled for over 20 years, learning how to day trade and finally figuring it out, I realized that it's like learning a whole new language. And that was the coolest part about it. And when I figured it out, I didn't struggle anymore. And that's kind of where I want to bring you guys today to show you that it does take, you have to start at the beginning. You can't just join in midway. Okay. Um, I have a question. Why did I settle in a third world country, <clears throat> um, moved out of the U.S., heaven on earth. Um, I'm not sure if you live in the U.S. <laughs> I'm not going to knock the U.S., but let me tell you, Guatemala living is way better, way better than the U.S. could ever offer. Um, the medical health system here is absolutely incredible. Um, you yeah, my kids, I can't even imagine raising my kids in a better place than Guatemala. And that's probably the reason why we've lived here as long as we have is because it is heaven on earth here. <laughs> I love Guatemala. I can't even tell you. I live in Antigua, Guatemala, and it's fantastic. My, my yeah, it's great. So until you come and visit here, I really wouldn't call it a third world country. Because yes, it definitely has this poverty, but we live in Antigua. We call it our own little bubble and it's amazing. Yeah, I love it here. <laughs> um, but if anybody wants to learn how to get here, I'm happy to help as well. Because I have to tell you one thing, the medical care system here is great. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, the medical care system. My parents who can afford really good medical care in the U.S. can't even compare to the kind that we've been receiving here. So that's just an aside. I don't want to be talking all about Guatemala here. I could talk for hours about that. <laughs> um, you, I think this is Chala speaking to me. Um, I recommend, can we do this um, via email? And I'm happy to talk to you all about the residency, which is super, super easy about Guatemala. Okay, guys. So another really cool perk about day trading is that you could do it from anywhere, right? And that's kind of the coolest thing of all is that you 
can do it anywhere. And because I only go with one chart, that I only use one chart, I could go anywhere and trade from anywhere as well. And before COVID happened, I was I used to do quite a lot of in-person summits and presentations as well. But today I absolutely love the fact that I could be online virtually with you guys and have people from all over the world. So that is really, really, really cool. All right, guys, so let's dive in. Before I get into the presentation, I have my entire presentation for you here for free that you can follow along making of a day trader.com. And I know that David will have the replay. So you can go here, get the presentation making of a day trader dot com go check it out you'll get it and then this way you could also go with the replay and you could use it right now all right guys so let's dive in first and foremost what in the world is day trading and why is it not investing because i actually whenever i say that oh i'm a day trader a lot of people are like oh i want to learn how to invest and i always say well we day trade to invest so basically, that's number one thing, right? It's not investing. And the main thing is to begin with is unlike investing, we do not want to diversify. Okay, like for instance, I have a very robust portfolio for my investing, but for day trading, I am very niche or very laser focused on one instrument. Why? Here's a good example. Imagine your child comes to you and says, hey, I want to learn how to play a musical instrument. And you're like, okay, cool. Which one? And they're like, okay, I want to learn how to play the guitar, the flute, the piano, and the drums. And you're looking at them and you're like, you know, it's better if you just focus on the one because then you could really master it, right? Because piano is not the same as a flute, which is not the same as a drum right? And it's the same thing when it comes to day trading. You can't be in four different musical instruments at the same time. It's just not possible, right? It will. It's just not possible. And it's very similar to the same with the financial markets, right? Just because you want to do Forex does not mean that you should be doing futures at the same time. The, the strategy is incredibly different. And interestingly enough, a lot of people, when they first begin, they think, oh, if I do many different instruments, if I trade the many different financial markets, I'm going to make more money. On the contrary, you're going to end up losing a lot more because you can't do all at the same time, right? It's not possible. So what I always recommend to my students who first come to me who have that idea, I'm like, let's first focus on one. Focus on one instrument. And once you master it and are making real money from it, then you could go and expand. And a lot of times, a lot of them just end up staying in the one. <laughs> so that's kind of the cool thing, right? They end up staying in that one thing. It's kind of like Liberace. We all know who Liberace is, right? Love him, hate him. I don't care what you think of him. The point is we could all agree that he was a brilliant pianist, right? And I can guarantee if he picked up a guitar, he'd probably be pretty good at it. But he knew where his sweet spot was where his mastery was and that's a part of learning how to be a professional day trader you find your one thing you really grow in it you really learn so if you could get anything i would really recommend focusing on that okay yeah it sounds cool to say oh but i trade this this and this but in reality are you really making money doing all of that a lot of times not so much right the real money comes from that one place. And that's really the greatest thing of all. The other thing is what the main difference is with day trading and investing is investors really care about the companies they are investing in, right? The market has been really, really bad lately, right? We could all agree on that. It's been really bearish for investors. But for instance, if you have invested in, let's say, Apple or Amazon, right? You can go through the ups and downs with it, right? Why? Because you trust in that company. You've done your due diligence. You know that it's going to be a strong company and you can handle it. But with day trading, 
we don't really care if the company is going up or down. First of all, because we only focus on what's happening in the day. If Apple is coming out with an iPhone 15, do I care as a day trader today? No, not really. I just care what's happening in front of me right now. But as an investor, yeah, I do. I want to sit through and really trust that it will be a great next thing, right? And so So that's the thing with day trading is that we focus on that. The other thing that's really important and not really talked about is time frame. So when you're day trading, we have our platforms that we look at, right? We have a charting software that we look at. So if you're going to be day trading, we want to be looking at charts, you know, between one minute, five minute, 15 minute. But if you are investing, do I really care about what's happening in the minute? No, chances are I'll be looking at the week or the month. And that's a really important thing to understand, right? It's you have to understand the proportion of what you are doing. Okay, so now I really want to talk about the myths because that is going to be really, really important. Myths, I like to call them similarly to limiting beliefs, right? A lot of times we have very limiting beliefs in some things and they keep us limited. They keep us from moving forward. And I want to break those today. First and foremost, how many times do you guys hear day trading is gamble? Okay, so let me put it to you this way. If you want to learn to be a pilot, are you going to get in a, a, in a plane, somehow miraculously figure out how to turn it on, take it, take off, and have a successful landing? Chances are absolutely not, right? Absolutely not. You need to learn how everything works in the cockpit. You need to practice. You need to be in simulation mode. There's all these things that go with it because we all know, do you want to get in a plane with a guy that literally just decided that day or the day before that he wants to be a pilot and all of a sudden he's flying? Absolutely not. Like that is ludicrous, right? And the risk of you guys all crashing is probably 100%. People don't realize that day trading is the exact same thing. Just because you have a little bit of money does not mean that you are going to become a millionaire, okay? You have to put in the work, guys. You have to learn a strategy. And that's when the gamble is taken off the table, all right? And the risk is taken off the table. So once you realize it's the same thing as wanting to be a pilot and you got to give them, you know, maybe up to a year, six months, whatever, it's the same with day trading. The other big, big myth is that you need to have $25,000 to start. I cannot even tell you what a myth and misconception this is. The only reason why you would ever need $25,000 is if you want to have a margin account. And here is the way I look at margin accounts, that it is loan sharking. All right. This is what brokers do. And they put it in this pretty perk type of a thing. Oh, look at this perks that you're going to get with a margin account. No, it's not. I'm going to talk a lot more about margin accounts a little bit further on in the presentation, but here's the reality. You can start with as little as $500. It depends on the market you're going in. And this is usually the $25,000. It's usually focusing on stocks or equity markets. You don't need that. You can start with a little bit of money. You don't need a lot of money to get started, okay? Super important. The other massive myth, like I mentioned earlier, is that you need to be a math whiz or have a financial background. No, you don't. I don't have a clue about any numbers or any calculations. I don't have any reason to, right? All it is, it's about technical analysis. It's about patterns. It's understanding what's happening in front of you with your charts. I don't ever add anything up. And if I do, I could use a calculator. Okay. And I don't have to have any financial background whatsoever. This is a myth. And again, you can do really well without having any of that holding you back. And that is so stressful and chaotic. Well, if you have this kind of a setup, sure. Right. But you don't have this kind of a setup. I hope you don't because this is completely and totally unsustainable, guys. Nobody can last long with this. Okay. Why? Because our brains are not programmed to do this. All right. We are not programmed to do this. There, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen, there was this really funny 
show about 10 years ago is called the king of queens so funny really cute show and in one episode the main character got a 96 inch television screen so the show is quite old because they show how they had direct tv right this is before netflix and all these other streaming outlets and there's this one thing they're sitting in this tiny little room and they're just constantly changing the channel on this 96 screen tv and one of the guys one of the friends is like stop you're going to trigger my epilepsy this is what is going to happen here if you continue having this kind of insanity in front of you. You need one chart, maybe two at most. Honestly, I had three charts. I had three monitors and I was in constant analysis paralysis because you do not need this going on in front of you. You don't need this. All right, guys, you could just have one chart maximum two and cut at the majority of your chaos and stress. The other thing is this shiny object syndrome. Okay, I can guarantee the majority of people have fallen prey to the shiny object syndrome. What does that mean? It means that you need to get the next software, the next in indicator, or you have to buy the next algorithm. Look, the only people really making money from the next software or that indicator or that algorithm are the people selling it. Never, ever have I heard anyone who actually bought it and used it and are saying that, wow, I am making money with this. Any platform you use and you need to buy and get a really good, strong charting platform, period. But they all offer free universal indicators that you can use. All right, you do not need to buy all these buzzings and gadgets and red lights. No, you don't need to do that. Another thing is huge, huge misconceptions that you need to sit in front of the news and study all the news and learn, oh my goodness, it is painful know that you do not need to do that. If you guys understand technical analysis, you can remove the entire market research from you. I literally turn on my computer, my charts, study them for five minutes before getting into the, the markets. Okay, super important. Another thing is, and this is a huge one, and I've been through it in every single pro trader that I know has gone through this. And this is called trigger happiness. There is this crazy misconception that we need to be in and out of trades all of the time. I remember that I used to take up to 40 trades within a two, three hour trading session. It was absolutely ridiculous. I was, I mean, it was unsustainable just in commissions alone. Okay. Look, guys, if there's any analogy that I could give that will really, really like root in your head, it's imagine a big game hunter. I'm totally not pro hunting, but it's the best analogy I could give. When the big game hunters go out, are they shooting any little mouse that's running in front of them or a prairie dog? No, they sit patiently and wait for the big game. Traders, pro traders, they probably take one to three maximum real trades per day because that's all you really need if they are high probability trades because you have a very solid strategy. All right, super important. Now, I always say the most radical way to trade is conservatively because being conservative is sustainable. This is how you will make money every single day. It is something that will actually make this a livelihood because we can watch all this aggressive behavior, but in the reality, it doesn't work because that aggressive re behavior requires a very aggressive risk as well. All right, small profits daily will bring you big profits yearly because it is consistent. It is what brings you that profitability on a consistent level, okay? It's the way it works. The other thing is, and this is such a huge thing, I'm sure you've heard of the term FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. I've coined my own FOMAT, fear of missing a trade. Why? 
because a lot of times we're looking and sometimes we get distracted or sometimes we're not 100% in the moment and we see it and we're like, oh my goodness, I just missed this trade. And then you fear of missing out on a trade and you start to chase the trade. And of course you end up getting the trade and then you end up losing the trade because it becomes this emotional thing. Guys, there's always another trade coming. Always another trade coming. I want you guys to think of the market as the ocean. Right. If you're a surfer and you just happen to miss a good wave, is that going to be the last wave ever? No, a good surfer knows there's a million waves coming. I don't have to chase that wave. You don't have to chase the trade because once you start to chase the trade, you know what happens? It becomes emotional. When you become emotional, that's when you are guaranteed to lose. You need to be level headed. You need to be logistic and in the moment. You cannot be subjective. You need to be objective. And that's the way you are a pro trader. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what to trade. Because a lot of people, like I said, want to trade everything and end up trading nothing well. So there are five markets to trade. Okay, we all heard of Forex, right? What is Forex? Foreign exchange, right? It is when you're taking two pairs of whatever currency, obviously the biggest, hottest ones lately have been Euro versus the dollar, right? So that's a pair and you watch it. And honestly, whoever is trading Forex really well successfully, probably don't do more than two types of pairs, okay? You really just want to focus on even one will bring you the most amount of gains, then we've got equities. I love it when people, when I ask people, what do you trade? I trade stocks. Oh, so you trade 5,000 different stocks? When somebody says that, chances are they're not being super successful, right? You want to be really specific. Equities. In the U.S. market alone, there's over 5,000 stocks to trade. So a lot of times, professionals, they would focus on sectors, right? Pharmaceuticals, technology entertainment, right? I mean, the tech sector has been tanking lately, but if you're a day trader, you could certainly make a lot of money as it goes down, right? That's one way of looking at, or how about just the big caps, just the small caps, just the indexes, penny stocks. I personally do not recommend penny stocks, but if you're going to do it, just do that. Okay. And there are so many super successful traders that are doing just Amazon, just Apple, just Microsoft, just Facebook, we're meta, right? You, again, the more focused you become, the more of a master you can be. Futures, I love when people say, oh, I trade futures. Oh, okay, so you're trading crude, wheat, and the indexes at the same time, because they cannot be any more different, right? Buying soy is not gonna be the same as buying the eat minis, right? So again, which futures are you in? I personally trade only the E-minis. I love the ES. Why? It's a beautiful, flowing, volatile market that, that is just really fun to trade on a daily basis. I don't, I don't ever say that I trade futures altogether because I have no idea how to trade crude. Crude is a beast, right? And it could just completely drive you bonkers. So you can't watch crude and watch the E-mini at the same time. So again, which futures market are you going to master? Options, right? Again, options is a great market to be in. So maybe just focus on learning how to do options. And then we've got crypto, another market that's just been so crazy, erratic, volatile. I mean, you name it. But the point is, a lot of people are into the cryptocurrencies. What does that mean? When you tell me you're in crypto and you say Bitcoin, I'll tell you Bitcoin is one out of 6,000. So again, are you in the alt kind? Are you into Bitcoin? Are you into ETH? You need to really focus. So again, what do you trade? And when you really can wrap your head around which market you want to learn, it will start to help you get a lot more clarity and a lot more sustainability and a lot more profitability, okay? Now, let's talk about demystification of the brokers and the margin account. Look, guys, I cannot even tell you the amount of people that come to me who want to trade and they're like, oh, I just opened up a broker's account. 
I'm like, okay, what are you going to be trading? Because if you want to trade futures and you opened up an exchange, an, uh, you know, an equities account, you're not going to be able to do well, right? Because that broker is going to give you really high commissions and also brokers. What is the job of the broker? It's literally for you to start trading. They don't care if you know how to trade. As a matter of fact, they prefer you not to know how because their one job is for you to just pay your commissions and to be in and out of different positions, okay? And that's when they offer you the perk, the benefit of opening up a margin account. Margin account is this, guys. Oh, the broker's like, hey, you have a certain, you have $25,000. We're going to give you a margin of $25,000. What does that mean? That means they're lending you money. They're loan sharks, guys. They're lending you money. That means they're telling you, here, you can take more money out when you don't have any more to put into the market. And we don't care if you win or lose because you still need to pay us back. And on top of that, you need to pay us with interest. You do not, do not need a margin account ever. It is not obligatory. It is not mandatory. You tell your broker, I don't want a margin account, okay? Have control of your funds, guys, because you can get really in over your head quickly. And that comes wrapped in as a gift of a margin account. It is not a gift, okay? Now, I want you guys to understand commissions and live feeds and quotes. First and foremost, if you are going to be a day trader, do not be on some sort of a platform where it's a delayed feed. What? That's crazy. You cannot be in the moment. You need to have live feed. Live feed is like gasoline for your car. Your car runs on gasoline. We traders run on live feed. Okay. Commissions. I'm going to go back to that because you can literally lose the majority of your money with commissions. Okay. Look, if you are trading futures, you cannot be with an equities broker because they are not equipped to do it per, as well as a futures broker, right? So you need to be with a broker that specializes with you. If I want to do crypto, do I really want to be on an options platform? And the reason why I say that Tastyworks, which is a mainly options platform, does offer you the chance of doing crypto. Be on Kraken, be on Coinbase, be on Binance. Those are the ones that really know how to work with crypto. You want to be on options? Go to an options platform. All right. This is so important, guys. First, figure out what you want to do and then open up that broker account. All right. Platforms. Platforms are, they are everything. You cannot be a Formula One driver in a minivan. Yet so many people do it and think that they could do it successfully and end up losing all the time. You need to get a good platform for your trading. And today there are so many good ones, really, really good ones. Guys, if you have questions about that, I am happy to answer them. You could email me as well, just the trader chick at gmail.com. And I'm happy to help you with that. But honestly, you cannot drive in the Formula One race in a minivan. You know, you look like a moron and you'll feel like one and you'll end up losing. There are great platforms. You need a platform. And those platforms usually come with free universal indicators. They come usually with the feed <clears throat> and they usually come attached to different brokers that are specialized in what you want to trade. All right, so trading lingo like i mentioned before i cannot enter a room full of native spanish spanish speakers when i don't even know how to say hola mi nombre es marina right i'll be completely lost i won't have a clue what they're talking about and to be honest with you they will want to talk to me right trading is a lingo everything we do in life has its own lingo so many people, because they have a little bit of money, enter the markets, and they don't even know the difference between a buy and a short, a long, sorry, a long and a short, a buy and a sell, right? Or they don't have a clue what it means, a support resistance area, or trending up, trending down. And then they wonder why they're losing money. Oh my goodness, it's so risky. 
learn the lingo, guys, and you will be way ahead of the curve. That 95% fail because they don't even know the lingo. Just knowing the lingo will immediately bring you into that 5%. So let's learn a little bit of the lingo. First of all, intraday trading. Oh my goodness, what does that mean? You are literally in and out of your trades in the same day. If you're overnight, you're a swing trader. If you're even longer, you're an investor. Again, and I'll go back to what I said earlier, this will also help you with understanding the time frames. If you are swing trading, you're probably going to be looking at day charts or week charts. If you're day trading, one minute, three minute, five minute, 15 minute. If you're an investor, you're going to be looking at the week of the month. Okay, boom. You need to understand that bull market, market's going up, market's trending up, bear market, market's going down, market's trending down. There are three trends. We have the upward trend, downward trend, and the sideways trend. The sideways trend is where pretty much the majority of the money usually gets lost because people don't realize that it is a trend and you have to treat it as such. And that is where the majority of the technical strategy actually works. All right, let's talk about profit target. Profit target is as important as your risk management. Why? Because your ego will always win. Greed will always win. So you need to have a profit target and you need to commit to that profit target, not be like, oh, well, the market looks like it's continuing that direction. I removed my profit target and then it turned on me and I lost all my money. Don't be greedy, guys. Get your money out on the profit. You could split target your profit for sure, but take your money out. Put some money back in the bank, okay? It's as important as a risk management. What is a risk management? You cannot put in a mental stop. It's as stupid as saying that you're gonna put on a mental seatbelt on your child and try to protect them during a car crash. It'll never happen. When the market turns against you, your adrenaline is pumping as much as it is in a car crash. Put in that risk management. And you're also telling the market that you know what you're doing. And you're also telling the market, this is all I am willing to risk on this trade. So stop with this mental nonsense. It doesn't work. You need to have specifics in there. The profit target, the risk management, be specific. I'm going to go back to the charts, guys. I'm going to go back to those charts. They are the holy grails. You need to have a charting platform. You cannot drive a minivan in a Formula One race. Get yourself a good charting platform. There's many right now that you could try out for free to see what works best for you. All right, indicators. Indicators are what literally indicate to us what the market is doing. Yeah, it's sexy being in the bare naked charts, but it's not. I have yet to meet anyone that is super successful doing only bare naked price action, okay? I personally use only two indicators and that's the other side of the spectrum. There's people that are using 10 to 15 indicators. I used to be one of them. Why? Oh, because they used to, they tell me, oh, well, this guru said it to use that one and that YouTuber said to use that one and that podcaster. I'm like, great. It works for those guys. Is it working for you? Take each indicator. Focus on that indicator. Does it work for you? I used to pretend and lie to myself that the Bollinger Bands and the Kettler Bands and the Fibonacci's worked for me. They never did. I lost all the time. I was in constant analysis paralysis. I was constantly stressing out. Those indicators didn't work. But, you know, some people said they did. But they worked for them. But they didn't work for me. And that's okay. Because I'm me. So I ended up finding the two indicators that worked the best for me. And I am flourishing. And that's something that you need to do as well. Again, trending markets. You're going to hear that all the time. Trending markets, market trending up, markets trending down, sideways, channeling, whatever you want to call it. Buying. What is a buy? I cannot even believe the amount of people that don't know what a buy is and they're putting money in the market. Actually, they're doing the opposite. I'm wondering why it's not happening. So what is a buy? In super basic terms, you're entering at a low price point, exiting at a higher price point, and taking the money in between. Pretty simple. What's a sell? Literally the opposite. You're going short. So a buy is going long 
a sell, you're going short. And what is it? You are entering at a higher price point, exiting at a lower price point, and taking the money in between, the profit in between. It's that simple. All right, guys. Now, let's talk about the difference between a pro trader and an amateur trader. Market entry, total amateur. You are telling the market that you have absolutely no idea where you want to enter. Just because something might have looked good, oh, it looks good, boom, boom, boom. You're telling the market you have no idea. And the market penalizes you with that for, with slippage and takes about 20% of your market value right away. Limit order, on the other hand, you are telling the market, this is where I want to enter. This is where I'm going to enter the market. I have full control of where I enter the market. That's a limit order. It is so important. You put in, you're telling the market, I only want to enter the market if you come to this price point. And that's it. Again, going back to the stop limit, same thing as before, the risk management, you guys need to be putting in that stop limit. You cannot do a market stop. One, again, you're telling the market, you're not really sure what's going on. Two, when you market, when you do a market limit, a market stop, you're losing 20 to 25% of your trade immediately. And if it's a loss, you're adding on an extra 20 to 25% to the loss you already are having. Okay. So I keep on talking about technical analysis. This is the most important thing that you could possibly understand. And the coolest thing about it is that it's really quite simple. So it's really simple. It's like the, it's the language of the market. Okay, so let's begin with technical analysis. The two most important technical analysis support and resistance areas because the market has areas, okay? It follows areas and you need to respect those areas. What is a resistance area? It is literally where the market has hit the ceiling three or four or more times. It has stopped an up trending market. Did it stop and transition? I don't know. We don't know that. But all we do know at the moment is that it has stopped it at the moment. And you don't want to be in that market. What's a support area? It's when it is stopping the downtrend. It is stopping it. It is hitting the market. The market is revisiting an area, the floor of the market three or four more times. Then we hear reversal patterns. I'm sure you guys have heard reversal patterns as double tops triple tops, head and shoulders, double bottoms, triple bottoms. I love reversal patterns. They are so easy to spot. And what they're telling us is not that the market is going to reverse. It is a high probability, high chance that it will. But what it is telling us is the market is losing its strength. It's losing its, it's weakening. And you never want to be in a market that is losing its strength, right? You never want to be in that. So divergence, this is my absolute favorite. I live for divergence. I listen to divergence. It's never steered me wrong. What is divergence? So as you can see here, my price action is going in one direction. I personally use the MACDs. That is the indicator that I love. And it's showing me that it's going in the opposite direction. Does it mean it's about to transition and start a whole new trend? No. But what it is telling me is that the market is losing its steam, it's becoming weak. And I don't want to be anywhere near that market because I'm a conservative trader. I like to have a very high probability chance of getting a good trade. OK, so let's put all this together. Remember, guys, making of a day trader dot com. Go here to get your free cheat sheet, everything that I talked about and a lot more. All right, making of a day trader.com. Go here right now. Now, let's talk about breaking out of areas because we know, we all know that the breakout trade is probably the most powerful trade you could possibly have, right? Is the breakout trade. What does that mean? What is a breakout trade? Look, if you haven't done your technical analysis, you're going to miss out on the most important trades there are. So what is a breakout trade? Very simply put, as you are in a trending market that's going up and all of a sudden there is a massive consolidation area, a massive channeling market. And then 
it breaks out and continues in the same direction. That's the breakout. When it breaks out of the area and continues in that same direction, how do we spot that? Well, we draw in our resistance areas, we draw in, in our support areas, we recognize where the market is starting to lose its steam, we recognize when the market is gaining steam and giving you massive confirmation. So this is how I focus on the breakout trade. I have my areas drawn in, I use my MACDs for really understanding how the market is working, okay? So as you can see here, this dash line, the dash line is zero on the MACDs. It is showing me that it is zero strength, zero movement. But when it breaks out, oops, sorry. Wait, oh yeah. So when it breaks out here and it breaks out here without any divergence and it's super from, from the zero line, that's when I know that this is the perfect time for me to enter. And I put in my limit order right here to be filled at a certain price action price point. I tell the market where I want to go. All right, guys, remember making of a day trader.com. Now I want to just go in and show you. Let me see if you are able to see this. You should be able to. Are you guys able to see my charts? Let me know in the chat room. Yes, no. Are you able to see my charts? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, awesome. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, so this is my charting, my chart here. Um, hey, Marina, we're not yes. seeing your charts. We're still seeing your slides. Oh, how come so many people said yes? Mm. Oh, okay, hang on one second then. Let me stop sharing and I'm gonna share again. This might've been yeses to previous questions. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so, um, all right, let's try it like this. You should be able to see it now, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, cool. All righty, so this is my chart here, okay? So as I said before, I trade the E-minis right now. The E-minis are not working. I mean, not working, they're not uh, being traded right now. They do take a little mini break. Before, it's called a maintenance break. But in the meantime, I could still show you how I do this, right? So here we have a really beautiful channel. So I personally do enjoy channels where there is good movement. As you can see here, there is not very good movement. But I also know when such a strong market, look at the strength and it hits an area, which I have right here, and I also know when I don't want to go into that area. I also want to know when will this be broken, right? When will this area be broken so that I could either take a breakout trade or a new transition altogether, okay? So as you can see here, this is how I view the market right here as well. Hang on a second. Look at this beautiful move right here and i could jump in because i also see that the macd is showing me that there is massive massive movement but then all of a sudden it totally slows down right it slows down it becomes an area and then i look to see what's happening here this is how i use it and you guys could use this for everything doesn't matter which oops just happened here <laughs> here we go right i have this area right here and boom, it broke through and it gave me a beautiful breakout session as well. So this is how I am able to use just basic technical analysis. And then on top of that, I will also look at where is it going? Is the market heading down? Are there divergences? All of this movement right here. And you can see right here, this is the E minis right here that I trade. Okay, let me get back to, oh, I just, here we go. Okay, I think that you guys, you guys should be able to see my slideshow once again. Now, I have a question for you guys, right? Let me just make sure. Okay, cool. Thanks, David. All right. So look, we you have everything you absolutely need to take action, right? Everything. 
we have the YouTubers, we have different podcasts, different books, we have these amazing presentations and summits. But at the end of the day, how do you know that you are doing it right? How do you know you're doing it right? How are you able to know if you are spotting that resistance area, if you are spotting that support area? Because all of that is great. But the, also the real question is, how do I even get started? And this isn't from beginners only. This is seasoned traders who have been trading for ages, but are still not consistently profitable, right? And I get asked that question all the time. What can I do to turn this around, to be profitable consistently? And a lot of times it's usually lacking the understanding of the basics. Like everything that we went through, the basics, just going back to them will completely revolutionize your trading. And that I could totally guarantee. It's like driving a car, right? You would never just hop in. You've never been in a car and just, you know, pretend that you're going to be able to take it on the highway and drive along cars that are going 70 miles an hour. No, you need to first get in the car. You need to understand the basics, the steering wheel of the car. Where is the clutch? Where are the brakes? Where's the accelerator? Where's the gears? How do you shift your gears, right? This is everything. That's the basics of driving a car. And once you know how to do that, today we hop in and it's automatic. We, you know, start the car, we get into first gear, we release the clutch, all of that. Now, imagine if you've never been in a car and you're getting in and the driver is telling you, all right, buckle up. This is going to save your life. And you've never seen a seatbelt buckle up. What, do, what does he mean? I need to understand because this is going to save my life, right? If you've never understood that, how can you save, how can you be saved, right? How can you protect yourself? Absolutely, totally guarantee that if you know the basics, I'm not guaranteeing that you're gonna be a profitable person, but I can guarantee you will be a good trader at understand. So sometimes it's easy to wanna be just given the guarantee that you'll be making money, but you can't. Nobody is going to guarantee that. If they do, they should be imprisoned, right? So that's the reality of it. You need to be guaranteed that you could drive a car once you know where your brake is, where your accelerator is, where your steering wheel is. Can I guarantee you you're going to be a Formula One racer and winning? No, that is putting in the effort. That is putting in the work. But you definitely will be able to know how to be a really good driver, right? Look, this was my sad truth. I was getting into trade rooms all the time. I had absolutely no idea how to even be able to understand what is a divergence, what is a support and resistance area. And every single time I was asking, I was constantly either <clears throat> blown off entirely or treated as if though I was born with this information. And because of that, I was end up losing money. I spent over $20,000 on these trainings where I was literally just thrown in to follow along. It's kind of like your child, back to your child wanting to learn how to play a musical instrument. And instead, and when they arrive with their flute to the musical academy, instead of being taught how to hold the flute, how to blow into the flute, they were literally thrown into the symphonic pit and expected to keep up. Are they going to be good flout flutists or flautists? Absolutely not, right? And that's why I struggled for years. And because of that, I was in all these different chat rooms and following along. And it was years and I was still not really understanding and following and chasing trades. And I just ended up losing money over and over again until I ended up losing almost $4,000 in five minutes. And then I was just done. I quit. I could not manage it anymore. It was just too much for me. I quit. But here's the reality, guys. Everybody in this room is the same, right? What happens to us? We are bit by that trading bug, right? Because why? We are bit by it and it never gets, it never stops itching. Why? Because deep down inside, we know, we know that we can do this. And that's how I decided to get back to the basics. Okay, that's when I decided to get back to the basics. And it's funny, one of my students said to me a while back, they're like, you know, your teaching philosophy and your teaching methodology is very similar, similar to coach John Wooden. 
I'm like, Coach John Wooden, who, I don't even know who Coach John Wooden is. So of course I went to look him up. And I have to admit, you know, Coach John Wooden, he is this legendary coach, basketball coach. I mean, legendary, but his entire teaching philosophy was when in doubt, get back to the basics. And this guy is incredible. I mean, he won 88 national championships, 10 NCAAs. I mean, this guy was a legend and he trained legendary basketball stars. However, every single season, he would start with the basics, how to tie your shoe, how to roll up your sock, how to dribble the ball, because it doesn't matter what you think you know, and you can get out on that court. You think you're the, you know, you're the star and you're the it guy. If you don't tie your shoelace correctly, you're going to sprain your ankle because your shoe could fall off. And guess what? You're going to be sitting out on the bleachers of the rest of the season. Okay. And that's the most important thing. So today, the I have a super special offer for you guys who have made it here today with me. And I am so grateful. I have a special offer. My introductory course that I created for you. Bootcamp for day trading. This, you could do it on any apparatus, your iPhones, your Samsungs, your pads, desktops, laptops. In all of this for a one time fee, one time $97. Now you could go here right now, bootcamp for daytrading.com. Go here right now, bootcamp for daytrading.com. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Now I want to ask you guys this what can you get for $97 today that will bring you the same return on investment? You want to go golfing? Sure. Let me tell you, I live in Guatemala and $97 isn't even enough for one person to go golfing in Guatemala. How about taking out your friends for a dinner or for lunch? I remember when we first moved here 14 years ago, me and my husband used to go out for dinner with wine, delicious. It was around $25. Today, $97 doesn't even cover me and him going out to dinner anymore. Just so that you guys understand what $97 can get you today. Not a whole lot. So let me break this down for you guys. Okay. What do you guys get in for $97 in this course? First of all, simplifying the entire trading package. And I know how you guys struggle with the platform setup. I totally get it because I did it. And I have so many people that are trying to figure out and they can't and it's just so frustrating so i have a 30 minute tutorial it doesn't matter which platform you're going to be working on i will help you set it up so we can get to the fun stuff of the trading then we go into the break the anatomy of the markets dissecting truly understanding all of these the trends the reversal patterns the divergences all of this because this is the key and we really really get into all of that understanding the support and resistance areas the divergences we go over all of this in the course together and the mastery of the breakout because this is the hottest power trade you could do but if you don't understand how to do it you're going to miss out and I will help you avoid the fake out breakouts because the fake out breakouts, you could lose a lot of money and you could totally avoid it. Okay. Understanding how to do that breakout trade and you get unlimited access to the curriculum. All of this is valued $1,600. This is all that you get. And I have students who have taken this course from all around the world because the beautiful part about trading, you can do it from anywhere in the world. Here's Michelle best money I ever spent on the bootcamp. Unbelievable. You are the only mentor that truly checks the work. I am enjoying your bootcamp so much and learning every day. I want to share something really quickly with you guys. What did I ask before? How do you know you're doing it right? How do you know you're doing it right? Look, Without a mentor, without coaching, it's impossible to know if you are doing the right thing. If you are seeing a buy versus the short, the sell, if you are spotting those resistance areas, those support areas. With this $97, that one-time fee, this is not ongoing. This is not going to be recurring. You get one entire month, one-on-one -on -one feedback with me 
endless coaching, one-on-one, -on -one, just that alone is priceless, okay? Because that mentorship can be what can take you to that next level in your trading. And I have the best for last. Again, included in that one-time $97, I run a live trade chat room where it's me. There are no moderators. There are nobody else. It's just me. Everything that we are learning, we have a month. I have a live trade chat room. You will get free membership in that chat room where we take live trades, where we implement everything right there, right in front of us. This whole package valued at $2,600. Special for you guys, $97. Now, go here right now, bootcampfordaytrading.com. This is what you guys will get. Everything that's mentioned in the course, 30 days, one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, 30 days in my live trade chat group membership. All of this, and I'm going to get really real with you guys, all of this is worth less than one price of a trade. This is less than a trade that you guys do. And I'm not even talking about the dinners and the golfing, but we all know that when you trade, $97 is less than the trade that you will take. So this course will 10x your return on the investment alone with the education and working with me. Okay, and this way you can get a hundred of these dinners. But here's the thing, guys, because of the mentorship that I offer, I'm only able to open it up for 25 people. Okay, because I really love to focus all my attention on you guys. Now, I want you to go right here, bootcampfordaytrading.com, bootcampfordaytrading.com, bootcamp for daytrading.com. You will go here and it's $97 one-time fee. However, you could also do two payments of $59 if you want to just take, you know, try one month, one month at a time. All right. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Let's go here right now. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Henry, do you trade all assets? Again, it's just me, so I really focus on the E-mini, but the boot camp works for all instruments because I teach you how to focus on your particular market, okay? It is all about the one-on-one -on -one that we really get into the curriculum and taking it to that next level. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here, for taking your time and spending it here with me. Thank you so much for the invite again, David and Anka. I really appreciate it hanging out with you guys. And you always put on such an amazing presentation with great, great educators.